What's good, YouTube? PVZ back with another video, and today we are reacting to like a pretty boy Fredo exposed video by Cam Dillard. I already watched the part one, so I'm, right now I'm gonna watch the part two, but I'm gonna watch it with y'all boys. You feel me? Y'all boys and girls, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna watch it with y'all, bro. This, hey, bro, that first one was crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. So we're gonna check out the second one. Let's get into it. You feel me? Let's get straight to it. Fredo is literally trying to get all my videos taken down. Got me copyright strikes on all the videos that have him in it. I don't know how he did this shit. This again just shows <laughs> the type of shit that he does. These are videos that I made myself and he somehow got them taken down. But hey, boy, we'll get it figured out. Be, Let's hop into part that two. That boy must Keep be this turning very, off very, all very, very, very fucking short because everything. I'm not trying to be... I mean, I kind of let you guys know everything already. And if you don't believe me at this point, then it is what it is. But long story short, I'm going to show you a few screenshots of things that I encountered and things I was able to gather up. It's not everything I wanted because a lot of our t talk was through Instagram and I'm blocked. So I can no longer access those messages. I'm going to go down the list of things that we talked about and I'm just going to I mean, pause though. You can see messages if you block just saying you know what i'm saying just saying you could you know what i'm saying i'm gonna let you keep talking show you proof of each thing so the first thing i'm gonna say is this was on march 6th i had a stream with fredo after in the middle of the stream uh i was on a blind date and he said in the video that if i've complete this blind date i earn my spot in the ssh and i get two thousand dollars at the end of this at the end of this video or stream he literally ha sent me the money and made me show the camera like hey i won two thousand dollars after stream was over he made a joke like oh you got them ssh bucks and i was so confused because i thought the video and i thought everything that happened in the stream was so real and i thought i was going to receive that money so when it was done nice. he kind of basically told me oh bro i'm gonna need that back i was actually shocked but you know it's his money i'm not gonna fucking take it while i'm in his house so i sent his money back so that money that I got on that stream for joining SSH, I never actually got that money. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the the Corvette. So the Corvette, um, it cost two thousand dollars for the uh, security deposit. I couldn't find a screenshot for the security deposit because obviously that money went back into my account. So I can't. when we got the Corvette, I'm the only one that ended up actually getting a video out, even though Keyshawn and Pierce also put money down for it. Now, the reason it's a big deal is because I did put the majority of the money down and Fredo did not. The problem with that is Fredo was the main one to use it. We recorded this long ass video, as you guys saw, of him buying me the Corvette and nice. doing all this stuff. And that video took hours to shoot after he told us he wasn't going to really be using it. He was literally driving around the city, drifting, doing all this crazy shit. And I have Snapchats of that, proof of that. Uh, throughout the night and the day and here's a screenshot of what that was it was from ssr exotic rentals and i spent 740 out of like 1100 of the corvette that cost yeah. and i received practically nothing from fredo i ain't gonna lie he's an idiot he's so dumb like why you're an idiot that's that's honestly on him no cap because you just you just dumb bro i ain't gonna lie that's a whole lot of cheese you just blowing bro because he said he wasn't going to use it and he ended up using it the whole time. On the 10th of October, on the 10th of October, I was told to fly to Florida in order to make a video. stuttering like a bit. It was supposed to be a one day trip and we actually did get a video done, me and the rest of the guys. And here is me buying my ticket to Orlando and it cost me $522. I was supposed to fly. He let me know the day of the 10th. I bought the ticket and I flew out on the 11th. The 11th, and I texted him. I said, I'm getting on my flight to Orlando. He told me he was in Orlando already and he was going to be the one picking me up. He asked me how many hours. I said two. So then I'll be there at 11. He texts me as I'm getting on my flight and says, Malik will take care of you. Here is his number. He wasn't responding for a while, so I texted him back. I said, you didn't send it. He sent me the number. I said, all right, bro, see you tomorrow. Because I guess he was still in New York, even though he told me he was going to be there. So these are texts between me and Malik that day. I texted him, so I just landed. He told me Malik was supposed to take care of me. He said, yo, sorry, bro, I'm in the movies. Fredo's kind of so told me you were coming last minute. Did he get you a hotel or anything? If not, we got to figure that out real quick. No, nah, he just told me Malik will take care of me. 
here's one thing you need to do before you buy anything Ads, online. Bro, come Don't on, spend bro. another dime on Amazon you. until you watch this. Bruh. Jesus Christ. I legit still at the movies. He told me you were coming when I walked into the movies. I said, well, damn. He said, doesn't matter. We'll figure it out. I said, should I Uber somewhere or stay here? Hotel for sure. We just got to find one. Damn, I wish he didn't do this. My phone on 3%. All this is bad business. Very bad business. You good, bro? I'll figure something out. What area should I look, though? Situation pretty much happened when I was flying in North Orlando to shoot a video for one day. Fredo was not there when he said he was going to be. He was supposed to pick me up from the airport and give me a place to sleep. He ended up still being in New York and putting it on Malik and saying Malik will take care of me. When I got there, Malik practically had no idea what was going on and kind of was trying to help me, but he was on a date. So I had to figure out where to go and how to get to where I had to be on my own while landing in Florida, then wake up the next morning and film. Pause, bro. Hold on, bro. I ain't gonna lie. After I landed, bro, and I text, bro, if I text somebody, bro, and he'd be like, yo, I'm not there, or he'd be like, he got you, I ain't gonna lie, red flag right there, bro. I'm, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm finna hit back the flight, and I'm finna go back home. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. He's blocked after that. Malik, I mean, bro, on a date, you know what I'm saying, you can't really, like, be like, nah, bro, the date, you know what I'm saying, come pick me up. Nah, bro, you gotta let him have his date, but... Fredo, bro, you dead, you dead wrong, bro. You dead wrong, bro. Just come on. You dead wrong, bro. Video for Fredo. Went out to me with the rest of the guys in Orlando, and I filmed this video. This video was absolutely never posted on the SSH channel. So I was out $500, and I didn't get any of the exposure I thought I was going to get because he never actually posted the video because he didn't Dang, think bro. it was good. Then after the 11th, on the 11th, I went home. I probably got back like the 12th. Two days later, on the 14th, he calls me and says, we need to meet up again. And he gave it like a week's notice. And I pretty much was like, bro, I literally can't keep doing this. I'm going to need help, blah, blah, blah. This was all over the phone. I'm going to need help. He's like, hey, bro, don't worry about it. Just send me your cash app. I'll do it. So this is me sending him my cash app and then him testing me, how much do you need, bro? Now, let me tell you this. On the phone call, he talked about how much I needed. Everything was laid out. I told him exactly what I needed. And as soon as we got off the phone, he texted me and said, how much do you need, bro? So I kind of took that as, okay, this nigga's really not trying to pay for me, da 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 yeah, bro, And I said, the ticket was 743 I don't feel right telling you a number. Anything helps, though. If not, you can just spot the next one. That's what I responded because he was, sound he, he was making it seem like he didn't want to pay. He didn't, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. He then we got idiot. after that text, he called me again and he went into deep detail about hey bro, honestly, I was just thinking about it. The reason it's weird to me is because the reason I gave you weird vibes is because I do feel like you should pay, you should be investing in yourself. Like you I can make you a million dollars, bro. Just I need you to get in the mindset of you're you need to do this for yourself and like it's worth it. Like you're gonna miss out on opportunity. Just telling me all this bullshit. So after that phone call, I was like, uh, bro, I don't know. Let me think about it. And I ended up texting him literally a few minutes later and said, I'm fine paying because I'm investing in my future. Just if it's super frequent, I'll definitely need help. I shit you not, the next day we get on the phone call and he goes, actually, man, I thought about it and I'll pay for you. On the 18th, this all happened on the 18th, a few days later. This is me sending him all my information. I'm not, I'm going to blur that out, but I sent him my email, my full name and my phone number. I said, let me know if you need any more information. Thank you again, bro. Because this is him now saying he's going to pay for my flight. Four days go by. Now we're at the 22nd. I have not heard anything from Fredo. And my flight is supposed to be the 24th. 22nd, I said, did you send the itinerary? At this point, he did not respond to me. I called him. I texted him. And I kept knowing I was supposed to leave. But he never got the ticket. Again, I texted him. I need to know what time the flight is so I can be in Phoenix on time. He never texted me back. Fredo never texted me back after this and ignored all my information, me asking about the itinerary, and then calls me on the 24th. Bro, calls me on the it, 24th bro. and goes, so bro, did you get bro. your flight? You're supposed to be here today. After he literally told me he was going to pay for the flight. And then he got mad at me for not being on that flight. And I flew in the next day. Now, why? these are just a few examples. Of bro, why are you still going, bro? Like... I get it, it's Fredo. I ain't gonna lie. We all grew up watching Fredo, you know what I'm saying? So we think, like, Fredo is that guy, bro. He was that guy when we was growing up, bro. But 
looking at all bro it's a whole lot of people bro posting about him bro he did fredo wow bro he's really a demon out here bro I ain't gonna lie bro fredo going crazy but this cam dude bro I ain't gonna lie bro you gotta be top two dumbest people i've ever met bro <laughs> I'm not buying no flight, bro, if he told me he got me. If, hey, bro, if you mad, you mad, you feel me, bro? I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to, like, you feel me? Dig around him because you didn't pay for my flight? Nah, bro, you got that, fam. I'm not coming. <laughs> I'm not coming. Some of the things he's done. I honestly did not even feel like going in full deep detail just because I'm over the whole situation. Long story short, Fredo is a snake. He does a lot of bad things, a lot of wrong things to a lot of people. And it's if you decide still to fuck with him and talk to him and watch him, you can do that. Him trying to take down my videos shows a lot. Like I said, a lot of the stuff I can't get because it's in our DMs and I am blocked on everything. And all I really can say is I'm calling out Keys, Keys, say something, bro. Because right now niggas think this is cap, and it's not cap, Keys. Malik, I only met you two times, but bro, say something, bro. It's not right what this nigga does to people, bro. Darian, y'all all met me. You know I'm cool people, bro. Calling y'all out, bro. Say something, bro. I was around all y'all boys. Y'all know my energy. Y'all, I'm a good ass person, bro. Don't let this nigga do this shit, bro. Don't let him be like this, bro. I promise you, I've been there and he's talked shit about every single one of you. He's talked shit about every single one of you to me. And I know he talked shit about me to you guys. Thanks. I wouldn't say this if I didn't think it was necessary. I'm not one to do this, but I think this is necessary, bro. What's up, guys? I understand that this may seem like a lot. Of bro, this is crazy, bro. Because, like... Bruh, this is crazy. Hold on. 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 Bro, this is crazy, bro. Because it's like, bro, think about it, bro. We all grew up watching him. We all think he was like the top YouTuber, bro. Every, like, he was that top YouTuber, bro. He was that guy everybody wanted to watch. Everybody wanted to be like, bro. Straight off 2K. You know what I'm saying? I grew up watching him on 2K, bro. He was always my favorite YouTuber. Bro, but to find out now, bro, like, he be snaking everybody, bro. Editors. This guy, bro. People he working with. Like, dang, Fredo, bro. You going crazy, bro. You got to chill, fam. Like, I ain't going to lie, bro. Fredo, Fredo, you going crazy right now, bro. I ain't going to lie, bro. But I think it's because, like, Fredo fell off a little bit. So, I think, I feel like, nah, I don't even know, bro. This crazy, bro. He's, he's hot right now, bro. He's. He's hot topic right now. I ain't gonna lie. He's hot topic right now, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. He going crazy right now. But yeah, bro, he gotta chill, bro. Like, there's actually people out there that's like thinking this man's like the worst now, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? And I seen a post today, bro. He posted something today. He was like, oh, look at this guy. He's trying to get clout off me. You know what I'm saying on his story, but like, bro. Hey, bro, this man, he got, he got, you know what I'm saying? He got that backup info for you, though. <laughs> hey, bro, he got that, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, bro, that's going to wrap up the video. It's going to be the end of the video to this reaction to Pretty Boy Fredo's, whatever this is, bro. This guy that got scammed by Fredo, you know what I'm saying? Did wrong by Fredo, man. His name Cam Dilly. Y'all can go sub to him, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, make sure y'all hit that like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all share this with y'all friends. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. Shit.